The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Ah, Incubus. Picnic, it's coming up. I mean, it's it's July 30th. It feels like it's still a ways off, but hey, it's uh, you know coming up here on a month away. Picnic with Incubus. Also, Beach Weather, My Guys, Giovanni and the Hired Guns, Bad Flower, and Paris Jackson. That's Kenzie's girl. Yes. Michael Jackson's daughter is there as well. Uh, I'll tell you what, you get this wormhole of videos of her and her performance. Ooh. She she likes a lot of the grunge music out there. She likes, uh, and some of her songs sound like Hole to me, like Courtney Love's Hole. It's just really pretty good. Pretty good stuff. The way you said that sounded kind of bad. No, I didn't. No, I mean, it's, it's surprising. Sounded like Courtney Love's Hole. Oh, I didn't mean to say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> get the picnic, Q101.com. Tickets on sale now. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q. 101. Q101. Remember when you were a child and you used to be like, ah, you'd like hit your throat to make the noise in a fan? You tried to do what he did. Go ahead and do ah. it. <laughs> that's not that bad. Like a, but you do it in a fan and hit your yeah, throat. Like, and it's uh, the, I bet that's what he did to make the song. He well, went up to a fan. Yep. And then he smacked his throat at the same time. I don't really know how they did it. It could be digitally done in Pro Tools. That's a very nerd talk there. I apologize for getting too nerdy in the production world. but Or it was done your way. Let's pretend it was done your the way. classic way. And that's a fact. It makes your brain go. <laughs> or we put this fact out earlier this morning. It's gotten a lot of response throughout the day that people who leave parties without saying goodbye, i.e. an Irish goodbye, if you do that 25 times a year, let's say you're with people at concerts or a bar, we have to say goodbye to multiple people, like 10 people plus, but you just bail. You save two days a year, two full days a year by Irish goodbye. Amen. And that's your move. Listen, I'm the king of small talk. I have to actually spend a little bit of time with everybody in line when it's, I'm leaving. Everybody's there at the bar, the bartender, the waitress, the doorman. I'm going to talk to him a little bit, the cook. I'm going through everybody. Before I leave, I wish I was different. I really do. The motto is say hello to everybody, say goodbye to nobody. Have you ever had that bite you in the ass? Meaning the next day, oh, where'd you go? We had this big surprise for you. Or that was really rude. You just kind of left and didn't say goodbye. Anybody ever say that to you ever? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's been pretty good. All right. I'm just curious to our listeners of who does the Irish goodbye and who doesn't. You know, do you, do you just bail out and go? Uh, some people are calling it the Midwestern goodbye. I've never called it that. I've always called it the Irish goodbye. Maybe that's just me. I no, don't know. No, no, no. Irish goodbye is supposed to be the quick one. They that's they say Midwestern is when you stay a long time. Oh. So different. They were like, oh, Brian does the Midwestern goodbye because oh. you spend a long time. I misunderstood that. I've never yeah. heard it called that either. I just call it on the king of small talk in Chicago, and I like to talk to everybody. I'm very curious about your life. When you're saying goodbye, though, that's a hello conversation. I know. Even goodbye, I might have missed something in what we're talking about. No. I don't know. It's, nope. uh How do you I've guys do I've saved a lot of days, baby. Clearly. Uh, if you go out 25 times a year and you Irish goodbye, you save two full days of your life. It's a lot. It's a lot. So that's the lesson. Uh, do that. Don't do what Brian does. Do what Kenzie does. Yeah. Kenzie special. Only <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. I think I just blew Lauren away with another fact that makes your brain go about 311 right there. It's Q101, Brian and Kenzie, that they are the longest running band with the original lineup and never changed the lineup at all. That did blow my mind a little bit. What blew my mind more is what you call dancing. Um, uh, well, I, I get I get a little giddy when it comes to 311. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A little bouncy. And a lot of... Got very uh, violent over there, kind of. I dance like no one's watching. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> You, you dance know a lot of things like nobody's watching. You dance like I wish I wasn't watching. Mm -hmm. That's Q101. <laughs> Got your takeaways coming here in a second. Lauren's here, of course. Uh, let's get right to the takeaways, actually. Yours at 312-591-8500. Takeaway. Tanya says, who needs a beer cart girl when Kenzie has a weenie wagon? Oh, I thought it was a good job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we're going to get a weenie wagon in front here. Uh, we're we're going to do that. Well, whatever. Air texts it in. And said Sludge, I mean, Brian, yep. thinks Paris Jackson sounds just like Courtney Love's Hole. She does. She's going to be amazing at Picnic. <gasps> oh, man. Uh, that's good stuff. Do you like that one, <laughs> Lauren? Like, are we not good wording. today? <laughs> uh, Jim the Garbage Man texted in, ahoy, takeaway. If Kenzie has 10 to 12 hours for a question for trivia, she'll be undefeated. I'm serious. She thinks of Thanks. all the answers later on. I really did. Mm. Last night I was laying in bed like, 
Oh my God! That was so bad. <laughs> uh, what else you got, Kenzie? That was it. That's all I took. Oh, that's it? Okay. That was a lot of things. Nice. <laughs> Her computer crashed right before we did the takeaways. I told you I had one written down, and then my computer didn't do good, and you completely ignore that set. Okay, here's, here's one more. Uh, the Bermuda Triangle is a myth and very difficult to say for some reason. Say it, Kenzie. Bermuda Triangle. That's no she fun. Did it. No fun. She got it. Right. it was, all day I was trying to talk about this stupid thing. Uh, Lauren, what do you got coming up on your show? Oh, man. I've got uh, another chance for you to score that trip for two to Los Angeles to see the Lumineers coming at 1230 and then tickets for the show of the summer. I mean, slightly stupid, sublime with Rome, atmosphere, and the <sighs> movement at Northerly Island. That's happening at 1230. If you think there's smoke in the sky right now, <laughs> <laughs> slightly stupid is one of the more underrated bands mm -hmm. out there for live purposes they have some good songs obviously but a live band with sublime with rome but slightly stupid that's it I, i'll give that the sludge guarantee of a good time can't wait to see you dancing to it i ain't gonna dance to that one. i could okay, wait good. i could wait you could wait on that one yeah uh, we have billy corrigan <laughs> stopping by tomorrow during the show in studio Yay! Wow. gonna hang out more nascar tickets and if you miss a moment miss a lot go to the podcast q101.com the q101 morning crew on q101